Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky, on a beautiful 63 and sunny Kentucky afternoon. Hope you're having a great day, and I've got a super nice trailer to show you. So when you think of high-quality, custom-built trailers, what is some of the brands that come to mind? When I think about them, I think of Featherlight. I think of Competition. I think of T&E. Wild Side, I think of 5150. But one brand that also I always uh, think about is Performax, okay? So Performax, built down in Texas, custom built by Ronnie Young and his crew over 35 years in the trailer business. And it shows the fit, the finish, it's precise. Uh, this is a spec trailer uh, that we had built. It's 34 foot of box with a roughly five foot tongue. So it's around 39 foot from the tongue all the way back to the back of the trailer. It's specced out uh, for, it was built kind of around a drag racers mindset, but the trailer could be used for multiple purposes. As you can see, uh, it's got the, uh, the double real wide side entry door. Um, it's got triple 6,000 pound torsion axles, uh, exterior lighting, onboard air, it's already got the generator prep package down here. You can see the grill uh, there in the lower part of the front tongue box. So uh, we keep the generators in stock. It's already wired. It's literally a set it in there plug and play deal. So simple. Um, up here in this box, you also have uh, a spare tire. Again, the, the work, the quality of the work, the craftsmanship from these guys, so nice, so clean, so simple and just all around very, very, very well built. Uh, it's got the uh, hydraulic landing gear there on the front of the trailer, which can also be ran from the back of the trailer. So for the drag race guys, or uh, someone even hauling a classic car, or even an exotic or something with a real low profile, you can actually run the front landing gear of the trailer from a switch located in the back of the trailer and what that does is that'll tilt the trailer up or down and uh, you know you can get that perfect incline coming up into the trailer that way your uh, front spoiler or a body of your car or, or whatever you're hauling doesn't rub. Again 34 foot uh, box length 39 foot tip to tip triple 6,000 pound axles Alcoa wheels aluminum 16 inch wheels on this one. 88-inch uh, interior height, so just a little over 7 foot, which is nice uh, for the taller guys walking in and out of these trailers. 91-inch rear door opening width. As you can see, it's got the uh, spring-assisted aluminum rear door with a flap on it. Take you through the inside. Very simple. Uh, it's got the D-rings already uh, welded into the frame, rubber coin floor. Uh, it's got the carpet probably comes up a good 30, maybe 36 inches up on the wall. Something neat I noticed they, that they do that I haven't seen in many of these. They do 12 volt lighting, as you can see on the side. So when you're loading your car or whatever, you got lights uh, that shine down kind of on the side of the car or on the ground. I love that. Um, again, I mentioned rubber coin floor, carpeted walls, uh, 84 inches between the fender wells. That is unheard of in the trailer industry. So 84 inches from the inner part of that carpet over to this one. Very, very wide. So it makes it easy to get in and out. Uh, nice cabinets or cabinet section up here in the front. They build the cabinets in house. As you can see, they added in this one, the Craftsman toolbox there, but L-shaped overhead cabinets, bins around the top, lower section there. It's also got a table that flips up off the wall and the legs come down. I'll kind of demonstrate it here, very simple. Yeah, so it gives you a little table worktop there and then that the legs literally fold back down and the table lays down against the carpet. Uh, it's already got the stereo, uh, Bluetooth stereo in it. It also has the AM FM in it. Um, outdoor speaker, uh, again, I think I mentioned onboard air compressor. It's got a little Makita air compressor, very quiet, simple, plumb through the trailer. And it also has uh, the spot for you guys to uh, put a spare set of uh, slicks back here. So um, check out the full listing on our website, chasecoach.com. I uh, wanted to do a, just a quick walkthrough video to, uh, to show you uh, sometimes 
photos are nice, but the video also is, is really cool uh, to kind of get an idea of what we've got here. So it's a 2023 model. It is brand new, uh, Performax trailer. Um, again, with a taller interior height, the uh, 88 inches inside, uh, 91 inch rear door uh, width, and I think 78 height. So you've got about a 10 inch difference up there on top where you're uh, the, the upper header and the spring for the back door is located. Uh, it is already prepped for air conditioning. As you can see, the wiring is already ran, so all we would have to do is cut the hole and, and put you an AC in. So if that's something you're interested in, no problem. Got them in stock. We can fix you up. Check us out online, chasecoach.com, and uh, subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. It really helps uh, spread the word and uh, spread the videos and product that that uh, we're putting online. So Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. I appreciate you watching. Please uh, give us some feedback and uh, let me know if you have any questions.